Hey there, and welcome to the channel. My name is Dominic, and in this video, we're gonna jump into my top 10 effects inside the DaVinci Resolve Studio. Let's jump in. Number 10 is the solid color generator effect. Like, that's literally it. It's just a blank screen. But this blank screen is really useful if you want to cut to white or cut to black or cut to a brand color for one of your videos. And it's great if you have the brand colors of a client but you don't know the actual hex color. You can use the eyedropper tool to select the color of the actual brand. Number nine is the lens blur effect. This is great if you have a busy frame and you still wanna add text on top of it without adding a solid color or looking for another clip that has more blank space to add text. What makes the lens blur effect different from Gaussian blur is that it takes into account highlights and the shadows and reproduces blur just like a camera lens would. So if I have a shot like this where I'm shooting at F11, I can go like this and add lens blur effect to blur out the background. Number eight is halation. And halation is great if you have a clip that looks like this with a lot of high contrast between the light and the dark parts of the image. And you wanna add that really cool characteristic of film, which is halation. Simply drop this effect onto your clip and dial in some of the settings, and you can get some really cool fringe looks like this for your videos. Number seven is radial blur. And while this effect is a little bit too intense on its own, if you throw a radial mask on it and add a little bit of feather to it and keep it to just the fringes of the frame, it ends up looking really good and soft and helps pull your focus into the middle of the frame. And on that same node, you could even pull down your exposure a little bit to add a slight vignette and increase that focus even more on the center of the frame. Number six is the color generator. This is a great effect if you have PNGs from a client that are single color, but they don't work on the background that you've got for the end credits or the end slide of your video. With this effect, you simply drop it on your clip and you can use the eyedropper to select any color that you want to change the PNG to. Just be aware that if you have something like a JPEG with the logo on a white background or something like that, it's just gonna turn the whole thing into a colored rectangle. So this really only works with single color PNGs. Number five is drop shadow. And this is great if you wanna do picture in picture and have the foreground clip have a drop shadow on top of the background, like this. And coming in at number four is the glitch transition. This is an effect I typically use on logos and or text in a project. You can also use it on video clips if you wanna add a cool glitch transition between two clips, like this. Before we jump into the top three in this video, I first wanna thank you for making it this far into the video. Your support is greatly appreciated and it always helps in supporting the channel. And in case you were wondering, this entire video was graded with my brand new Cinema LUTs, which are available in the description down below on my store. And if you use this code, you can get a discount off your first purchase. Anyways, that's the end of my shameless plug. Let's jump into the top three. In effect, number three is Glow. This effect is awesome for adding a really soft, subtle, and filmic look to your video clips. And you can even tint the glow to introduce some subtle coloring to your video clips. And the way I typically apply glow is I add it to a serial node after my color grade and all of my correction has been done. And I pull the threshold all the way down, set the blend mode to soft light, then you can mess with the spread and the gain to adjust the intensity of the glow effect on your clip. And then you can use the color picker to introduce other colors like I mentioned earlier. Number two is smooth cut. I use this effect all the time when I have interviews and I have little discrepancies in the edit that I need to cut out, but I don't have any B-roll to cut away to. So if you have a locked off shot like this one, you can easily do a seamless cut in between two different clips, assuming that the motion in the video is relatively similar. We can throw this smooth cut effect right on the transition between those two, and you can adjust the duration of the transition and dial that in so that it looks really good. If we're talking, and I am talking like this, and um, I want to uh, cut something out, that would be really easy. If we're talking and I want to cut something out, that would be really easy. And this has saved my butt so many times with interviews where I just don't have that extra B-roll or that extra angle to cut to, and I need to salvage the clip. And finally, number one is the adjustment clip. If you come from Premiere Pro, you'll recognize this as an adjustment layer that you can throw on top of your whole edit track and you can affect all the clips underneath it. In DaVinci Resolve, this is called an adjustment clip. And these are great if you need to do bulk effects to a lot of different clips underneath them, or if you simply have done a lot of comp work with a lot of photos and or videos, and you just want to 
crop everything in just a little bit without manually adjusting each of the individual clips. An adjustment clip will affect your transform options as well as any effects you put on it. Think of it as a transparent video layer that just affects everything below it. And then we have one bonus tip. This isn't an effect in the effects panel, but it's an AI audio cleanup tool and it's located in the Fairlight tab. I've actually made a short on this feature and it helps to clean up your audio right inside of DaVinci Resolve. Simply click on the button to turn it on and you can turn the slider to adjust the effect it's having and kind of blend the original sound with the post-process sound. And in fact, I've used it in this entire video because I'm shooting this all outside and across the street from me, there are construction workers out digging holes and using loud machinery all day. So if this video sounds good, you know it works well. If you enjoyed this video, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end to see all of the tips that I've got. If you have any questions or other effects that you use on the daily, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. And once again, this entire video was graded with my Cinema LUTs, which are now available on my store in the link in the description. And you can use this code to get a discount off your first order. Anyways, that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on future content. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Oh, also, let me know if you enjoyed this style video. I'm trying to break out of my office and break out of my comfort zone a little bit and do more content like this that's a little more engaging and mentally stimulating. So let me know in the comments below if you enjoy this type of content and if you'd like to see more of it in the future.